Hi friend, welcome to this yoga flow for beginners. I'm Laya. I want you to just find a comfortable seated position. You could sit cross-legged or in any other way that you want to sit. Bring your hands to your lap or your knees, roll your shoulders down and back, lengthen your neck. And take a moment to move your head from side to side, to look right and left, up and down. Become aware of the space that you're in and eventually bring yourself to stillness, maybe softening the gaze down or closing your eyes to take three breaths together. Inhale through your nose, filling up your belly, your rib cage, your chest. Exhale through your nose or your mouth. Do more like that. Inhale, expand your belly, your rib cage, your chest. Let go. One more deep breath in and out. You can keep your eyes closed or open, it's up to you. Ground through your sitting bones, lengthen through your spine all the way to the crown of your head. Inhale, exhale, bring your right ear to the right shoulder. Bring your neck back to neutral, breathe in. Breathe out, bring the left ear to the left shoulder. Start to let the movement and the breath synchronize with each other. Inhale, neck back to neutral. Exhale, lower your chin to your chest. Inhale, lift your chin and start to lift it up, opening through the throat. Look up a little or a lot. Exhale, slowly lower your chin back down to your chest. One more like that. Inhale, lift your chin. Exhale, lower it down. Bring your neck to neutral. Inhale. Exhale, bring your hands behind you. Bring your feet to the ground in front of you, maybe a little bit wider than your hips, and then gently move your knees a little side to side. Again, just notice your breath. Stay with it. Let the movement arise from there. One more. Breathe in. And breathe out. Allow your feet to remain on the ground, sitting bones steady, and bring your arms around your knees. Let your chest melt down as you relax your head. Find stillness or sway a little side to side here. Inhale. And exhale. Lift your head back up. Slowly walk your feet toward one another until your hips are parallel to one another. Lift your chest up toward your thighs and stay here or start to lift your heels off the floor. Maybe your right toes lift and then your left. Perhaps both toes stay on the ground or you alternate as you inhale, lift your right. Exhale to lower. Inhale, lift left. Exhale to lower. Lift your chest up, whether your toes are down or up, thighs toward the chest, chest toward the thighs, breathe in. And as you breathe out, slowly lower your feet, allow the knees to draw open and the soles of your feet can come toward one another. Maybe the soles of the feet touch, maybe they remain wider, it's up to you. Bring your hands to your shins or your knees, inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, melt your chest forward and down, relax your head and stay here for a moment in stillness. Or again, feel free to sway side to side, breathe in. Breathe out. Observe the sensations in your body. The space that you have to move and explore and to be. One more inhale and exhale. Pause at the center. And then on your next inhalation, start to lift yourself back up. Draw your knees toward one another. Bring your hands behind you. Your hands could face forward if your sh shoulders feel fairly open, or you could start to dial your hands back until it feels more comfortable for you. Stay here, or on your next inhalation, lift your chest a little more. Maybe your hips lift up as well. Keep your gaze forward. One more inhale. And on your exhalation, lower your hips back down if you lifted them. Cross at the ankles and roll forward, or slide your legs to one side and start to bring yourself to a tabletop position, hands and knees. Bring your knees directly underneath your hips and your hands directly underneath your shoulders. 
for a moment. Maybe you move your hips a little side to side, mobilizing through your spine, your shoulders, your neck. Deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose or mouth. One more inhale and exhale. Pause at the center. Tuck your toes under now and send your hips back toward your heels as you start to create sensation through the soles of your feet. Maybe you stay here wiggling your hips a little side to side. Perhaps you walk your hands in toward the thighs. This may increase the sensation on the feet. For some people, you may have to move your pinky toe out of the way and place it down for more comfort. But just breathe wherever you are. Notice how much discomfort you're, you have capacity for right now. And once you've had enough, just come out of the shape. One more breath, inhale. And on your exhalation, slide your hands back down, shift forward and lift your toes, making some circles with your ankles one way and then the other. Breathe in, breathe out. Bring your toes back down to the floor. You could place the tops of the feet on the ground, whatever feels best for you. Grip down through your hands again. And as you inhale, lift your tailbone, dip your belly, look forward or up. And as you exhale, round your spine and gaze down. Two more like that. Inhale to arc. Exhale to round. Last one, breathe in. Breathe out to round. Bring your spine to neutral. Now this time, move your knees slightly back, shift your weight a little bit forward, and lower yourself all the way down to your abdomen. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders, and notice if your elbows kind of pop out, squeeze them to the sides of the rib cage. Bring your legs parallel to one another, press to the tops of your feet, and as you inhale, lift your chest a little, or a lot, doesn't really matter, but notice if your shoulders lift up toward your ears, roll them back and down and make more space for your neck. One more breath, inhale. And on your exhalation, lower down. Inhale, press into your palms, lift your chest, engage your back body. Exhale to lower. One more, inhale, lift up to cobra. Exhale to lower. Make a pillow with your hands, rest your forehead down for a moment. Wiggle your hips side to side, breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe into the back body. Notice what arises as you pause and observe. One more inhale and exhale. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders, press through your palms, lift your chest, breathe in, squeeze your elbows to the sides of the rib cage. Exhale, bring your hips back. Now walk your hands slightly forward and keep your hips stacked over your knees as you lower your forehead down. Maybe it finds the floor, maybe it floats. Engage through your arms, and you could stay here or tuck your toes and send your knees off the earth as your hips lift up and back, coming into downward dog. Continue to press through the fingertips and the hands. Breathe in, breathe out. One more, inhale, and exhale. Whether your knees are lifted or down, on your inhalation, start to gaze between your hands. And maybe you step one foot forward and then the next, bringing your feet parallel to one another at the top of your mat. Your hands could be on the earth, your shins, your thighs. Inhale, lengthen your spine halfway, creating space into the back body. And on your exhalation, bend your knees enough that you can let your abdomen rest toward your thighs, your spine hang heavy, your head relax down. Feel free to sway side to side or back and forth. Reconnecting with a rhythm of breath that is expansive and intentional. One more, breathe in and breathe out. Press down through your feet. Inhale, rise, take your arms all the way out and up. Unite your palms overhead, maybe your gaze follows. And as you exhale, draw your fingertips in front of your heart and eventually release your arms next to your body. Face your palms forward. Let yourself feel the sensation of shifting the weight back and forth and side to side and observing where your center is, right between your feet somewhere. 
Take a deep breath in as you ground down and you reach your arms out and up, palms unite overhead. Exhale, soften your knees, draw your hands through the midline, let your head relax as you fold all the way down. Bend your knees enough that your fingertips can rest on your shins or maybe the earth. That may mean that you bend your knees a lot, that's okay. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, hands to your shins, lift halfway. Exhale, bend your knees a lot. Frame your right foot with your hands and step your left foot back, lowering your left knee down to the ground. You could keep your fingertips down, framing your right foot. You could bring your hands to your right thigh and lift your chest. Press down to the front foot and draw your right hip slightly back and your left hip slightly forward. Stay here on your next inhalation. Take your arms out and up. Palms unite overhead. And on your exhalation, draw your hands in front of the heart and then release them next to the body. Face your palms forward, just like you did in mountain pose, pose at the top of the mat. Inhale, reach your arms all the way back, out and up. Exhale, frame your right foot with your hands. Lift your left knee off the floor, breathe in. And as you breathe out, you could take one big step forward or you could take several. And eventually bring your left foot next to the right, fingertips to the floor or your shins. Inhale, flat back, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Rise up, press evenly through your feet. Feel the length of the body. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. Exhale, draw your fingertips in front of your heart. Release your arms next to your body in mountain poise. Notice how you feel, breathe in. And breathe out. One more inhale. And exhale. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, soften your knees, fold forward, let your head relax down. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Frame this time your left foot, step your right foot back. Lower your right knee to the floor. Now take a moment to notice if your fo front foot and ankle are somewhat stacked over one another. Find your balance and your stability here and stay. Or perhaps on your next inhalation, your hands come onto your left knee and you lift your chest up. Breathe and notice what arises, whatever that may be. Perhaps on your next inhalation, your arms lift out and up. Unite your palms overhead. Exhale, draw your hands down the midline and then down to the sides. Inhale, take your arms all the way back up. Exhale, frame your left foot. Lift your right knee off the floor. Breathe in. Breathe out. Take one big step or several steps until your right foot meets the left at the top of the mat. Hands to your shins. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. Take your arms up. Exhale, bring your palms in front of your heart. Release them next to your body. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Open your mouth side out. Inhale, imagine energy rising from your feet, up the body, and up and up and up the crown of the head. Exhale to ground and release. Inhale, dig both arms up. Exhale, bend your knees, relax your head down and fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine a little. Bring your hands to the floor. That may mean that you bend your knees a good amount. Step both feet back. Now here you can decide if your knees stay off the floor or if they gently lower down, coming into a knee plank or a plank. Rotate your inner elbows forward to engage your arms a bit more. Draw your belly button in and up. Inhale. And on your exhalation, very slowly, lower yourself down to your abdomen. Point your toes back, hands underneath your shoulders. Inhale, lift your chest for cobra. Squeeze the elbows to the sides of the ribcage. Exhale, bring your hips back. Maybe your hands walk a handprint forward and your hips stay back over the knees. Or maybe you tuck your toes, lift your knees up and back. Downward dog. Deep inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. Lower your knees back down to the floor. Cross out the ankles and start to sit back. Bring your feet in front of you. Take a moment to move your knees a little side to side. Shake out your legs. 
Notice how you feel. Inhale. And exhale. Find a, a comfortable cross-leg position. Rest your hands on your lap or your knees. Or take a moment to stretch your arms forward. Make fists with your hands if you want to and roll your wrists one way and then the other. Inhale, take your arms all the way up. Interlace your hands and draw the elbows down toward the midline. You could keep them out to the sides or squeeze them together, it doesn't really matter. And then move your wrists once again, either in circles or circle eights. Circle eights may challenge your brain for a while, that's okay. It's all about practice and if it doesn't work, that's also okay. I don't know anybody that became a better person because they could do figure eights with their wrists, you know what I mean? Switch directions, breathe in, breathe out. One more, inhale, and as you exhale, release your hands, shake them out. Release your hands to your lap or your knees, lengthen your spine, soften your gaze or close your eyes, and take three breaths again, noticing how you feel in through the nose. Expand the belly, the rib cage, the chest. Open your mouth and let go. Inhale, expand front to back, side to side, top to bottom. Let go. One more, inhale, deepest breath you've taken all day. Let it expand fully. Observe the abundance within you and around you. And as you exhale, release any resistance to it. Take a moment of gratitude, maybe repeating within or without. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your body, for your mind, and for the time that you're giving yourself to practice. Once you're ready, open your eyes. And I hope that you've enjoyed this short yoga flow for beginners and that you come back to it to build the strength and the stability, also the stamina, to evolve your yoga practice. Until I see you again, be well and take care.